All right, guys. Today, I thought we'd talk about doing a little bit of current monitoring with the Arduino. Because, you know, it can be a real pain in the butt to sometimes have to set up two uh, DVMs to try and measure current and voltage. Well, this little guy right here can do them both. This is the INA219 high side current monitor. Let me bring this up close and personal for you. So now there you can see it. This is an I squared C device that can be powered off of either three volt or five volt. In this case, I am uh, powering it off of five volts here. And there's our two I squared C lines. And there is where our current sensing is coming in. And that little guy right there is the INA219 chip. And that's from Texas Instruments. Pretty nice little chip. Um, it'll take up to 26 volts DC and it'll measure current up to 3.2 amps across this, which is a 0.1 ohm, 1% current sense resistor. And it's got a built-in internal, built-in internal, that's from the Department of Redundancy Department. It has an internal 12-bit ADC, and the resolution is 0.8 milliamps at 3.2 amps. So this is pretty nice. Now what I've done here is I've just set up a simple little test rig for us. So we've got the Nano over here, and we got the INA219 here. Uh, hooked up to the 5 volt bus and then we're going to put in an external power supply to power this LED so let me hook that up right now it's my little power supply here so you see we have the let me bring this down here a little bit so you can see it better we have the positive coming in on this white wire right here going into the V in plus the V in minus comes out on this orange wire and goes to the anode of the LED the cathode goes through this 220 ohm resistor to ground then we also have the other side of our power supply hooked up to ground here because we've always got to hook our grounds together or else bad things all right, let's go take a look at the code, and then we'll come back and see this thing in action. All right. Okay, the INA219 is super simple to use. Not only does it measure the shunt current, it also measures the shunt voltage, and of course calculates the power via that. And on top of that, it also monitors, monitors the bus voltage. So it's really simple. All we're gonna use today is the uh, shunt current monitor feature. So this is Arduino current monitoring with the INA219 module by Learn Electronics, written 30 January 2007. And there's a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash learnelectronics. All right, we need to include the wire library because we are using two I squared C devices. And we need to include the INA219 library so that we can take advantage of all the really cool features. Uh, the Adafruit graphics library is not really necessary here. And in fact, if you're not going to do any graphics, I wouldn't use it. And it will save you some memory. However, in this case, with my particular OLED, the Adafruit SSD 1306 is required. So then we will do a library call to set up the 1306 and a library call to set up the monitor. Now down here in our setup, we activate the monitor, that's the INA219, and we activate the display, and then we show it's in the buffer if there's anything there, and then we clear the buffer out. That's all with the display, nothing to do with the INA219. Now we're going to set up here to start displaying what's going on. So we set our text size to 1 with this display.textSize command. We set our text color to white. Uh, it doesn't matter if you only have a monochrome, but it's always better to specify each individual item that you're doing. That way later, 
you need to change it, you know what's going on. Then we're going to set the cursor into the upper left corner and we are going to use the display print command to print a little header here, shunt current. Then we are going to drop down to the next line which is about 10 uh, pixels down and we're going to display print and this is a library command monitor.shunt current function times a thousand and four. That's going to give us the shunt current which has been divided by a thousand so it comes in you know under five and we get the milliamps and we're going to get it in four places. Then we're going to move over 47 spots 47 pixels to give us some space and we'll show the scale that we're using which in this case is milliamps then we're going to display it all all of these display commands right through here print all this to the buffer then we say display display and it pukes them all out to the OLED at once we wait one second to stabilize everything then we clear the display and we start our loop again it's that simple now let's go take a look at it in action all right, you guys ready to take a look at this thing in action? Let's start by powering up the power supply here. You can see I'm giving it five volts and our LED is lit. And then we're gonna power up the Duino. Give it a second for everything to initialize. And there you have it. Shunt current 13.3700 milliamp. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see that better. Now there's no flicker to my eye, that's only on the screen. And I'm gonna pop out this resistor here. Remember that's 13.3. And we'll put in a lower value resistor. And now you can see we're getting 18.62 milliamps. So that gives you a basic idea of how to measure current using the Arduino and the INA219 current sense module now yes you can do this without this module by measuring the voltage across the power resistor and doing some math and you know all that fun type stuff but this guy's like less than three dollars or four dollars from amazon so if you ordered it from one hung low i'm sure you could get it for <laughs> even less right so there you go, we have a separate power supply powering an LED and it's being monitored by the INA219 with the data being sent to the Nano and processed and displayed on an OLED screen. If you like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, share it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you really should because we're having a giveaway and the only way you can win is by being a subscriber. And for all of you guys who have subscribed over this past weekend, over 100 people subscribed in like two days, thank you all so much. I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.